In this video, we'll be going over creating custom tools. Now, when creating a custom tool, it will be based on any of the existing mouse tools found here. So in this case, if I want to create a custom line tool that had a specific color and line type, I can then use the line tool as the basis for my custom tool. So let's try that. Let's go over to Configure, Preferences. We're going to click on Toolbar. We're going to click on Custom Tools. We're going to click on the plus icon. Now for name, here we can place any name that we wish for our custom tool. I'm going to call mine Green Line. And my base tool in this case is the Line tool. You'll notice that there are other base tools found here. Now some of them, you'll notice, have two colors for the icon. And the reason I bring this up is because we can also customize the icon color. And if the base tool has one color, then you can customize one color. If it has two colors in the icon, then you can customize two colors. For instance, in this case, we have white and blue, so we can customize these two colors. Now, I want the line tool. So the line tool, I can only use one color. I will use green and then click on Customize. We have four tabs available to us here in the line properties. I'm only interested in format in this case. So we're going to click on Line. I'm going to select green. And I'm going to change the line type to dashed. I then click OK, OK, Apply. As you can see now, our custom tool is listed here in the list. We then go over to our toolbar tab or panel. I'm going to select the top toolbar as I want the custom tool icon to be placed on this toolbar here found at the top. On the left hand side, you'll notice we have the available actions column. And this is where our custom tool will be listed. Now this is an alphabetical list. So I called mine green line. So it's here. Now I can place it in the list by either clicking the right arrow or I can drag it to where I want it. I want to place it here right after this icon here. So I'm going to scroll down until I find the set fill color icon and here it is. So I want to drag this here and it's now placed where I'd like it to be placed. Again, if it isn't, you can always use the up and down arrows as well to reposition it as an option. I'm going to click Apply, OK, and we now see it listed in our toolbar. At this point, I can simply click on it and then use it to plot my custom tool. And there we have it, my green line. So that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next.